All right, what's up guys? Michael Lee here with itsofawhat.com. Just working on my golf game section. Uh, right now we're at the PGA Superstore. I'm just starting my golf game. So I got these clubs that don't have the proper grip. And I'm just starting out. So I guess this club that I got, my new set of clubs, have the standard grip. So I need to have a grip that's a little bit bigger than that because they say if you can touch your palms your grip is too small so because my hands are super large i need jumbo grips so let's go in here and try to get some jumbo grips hey. a lot of work in one of your best neighborhoods of your choice but it allows you to roll those renovation costs So after speaking with the professional there, he definitely said I needed new grips, needed a new extension. I couldn't get it all on video because I was just so intrigued on the process, but he took this big three foot ruler, measured me from hip, pretty much from foot to waist, just to get the club extension what I needed. And uh, he told me to wait about 20 minutes. So I just checked out a few clubs, realized that golf is super expensive, checked out that new TaylorMade Stealth Driver. Also checked out some golf bags, but I realized I was running behind schedule. So let's fast forward this thing to the course and let's hit some balls. All right, guys, we back. I had to fast forward to a different day. But long story short, I got my clubs fitted with jumbo grips. I would show you guys the other clubs that are out there in the uh, parking lot right now. But I got them fit with jumbo. I don't know if you can see it. Jumbo grips. I'm in the car right now. Get ready to go to the driving range. Get a few. And I also got the club extended an extra one and a half inches. So I'm super tall for golf. So I had to get some special grips. Not special extensions and new grips. So let's go to the course and let's try it out. So first time out checking out the new club. I only got two extended, so I wanted to practice with my six iron and my pitching wedge. So what you see what I have here is my pitching wedge that I'm working on, trying to get a little bit more loft on the ball, which means I'm trying to get it up in the air. So my first swing is up. I'm getting my position right, getting my hands and my stance corrected. You can see here, I think I'm about to knock this thing out the park. Swing is in. I'm back. And I definitely got sand in my face. Didn't go high plan, but first swing. So I'm like, okay, no problems. I'll go ahead and get it the next time. Stance is right, same thing. Get my posture. And complete flat. I just had to go get that one back. But also this golf course community is right outside Lone Pine. Uh, the neighborhood of Lone Pine Estates, which is another fantastic neighborhood, and homes go really, really quickly over here. So, it's another great golf community that I love to play at and love to practice at from time to time. As you can see with my third shot, I meant to hit the ball, but it looks like an amazing practice swing. So, that's what I'm gonna call it right there. It's an amazing practice swing. Third shot is up. Nah. All right. So, before I bore you guys any more with my golf swing, I'm going to continue to work on it. But don't forget to check out itsoforwhat.com. Like and subscribe to the videos on YouTube if you want. The channel is It's So For What, where I show you It's So For What, what's sold around town. Check it out my golf journey as well. As bad as it may seem, hopefully I'll improve. But until next time, take care, guys. Peace out.